We're going to be talking about why you're exhausted, and it has nothing to do with your diet or your working out or some of your habits. It really has everything to do with you not being a true owner of your business. You always hear people say you have to be an, be an owner, not an operator. And what's that mean? What's the thing that separates owners from operators? It's the ability to delegate, the ability to take a look at your business and take a look at it from an outside perspective and see where you have to move the pieces of your business, the people who run the operations of the business. And unfortunately for a lot of watching right now in the salon industry, you wear all the hats and you never get a chance to really step out of that that position of artist and then become the manager and then become the owner or the leader or the entrepreneur. It's like you're always engulfed in everything all at once. One of the things I always speak about is controlling or managing your energy, not your time. What does that really mean? When I say managing your, your energy, not your time, it's because you have a set of hours in a day that you can only do things in. And whether it's an eight hour day, a 10 hour day, a 12 hour day, you are subject to that calendar, to the amount of hours you have in a day. And if you're trying to do the inventory in the morning and then do your clients in the afternoon and then do your one-on-one -on -one meetings at night or handle your social media at night or, or do your film filming and your editing, it's like you condense everything into these little blocks of time that just don't really work. It's not efficient. It's not a good way to manage your energy. And so when I look at people's calendars, which is what I like to do to see if they're successful or not, it's I look at how many things they're trying to do in a single day. And for the busy owner, right, they're super busy, but they're not super productive. It's because they're trying to do too much in one day. That's not the way you manage your energy. How you do it is you have one specific task, one specific goal you want to accomplish for that day. If you could accomplish that goal for the day, it's a success. Rather than try to accomplish 15 things in one day and get nothing done and half-ass everything, just do the most important thing that will take you to the finish line. Like a lot of times people, you hear about the 80-20 rule. Well, what's that? What's that one that one task, that one thing you could do that will get you 80% of the way. And if you do that, if you complete that task in a day, then the rest is really easy. And then you can delegate the rest out. See, a lot of owners out there are afraid to delegate things out because they're afraid it's not gonna be done as good as they do it. Well, something done 80% as good as you can do it is much better than you not doing it at all because you're too busy. I want you guys to start thinking about being productive and not just busy. See, when you become an owner, it's like, oh, I gotta do all this, I gotta do that, I gotta do this. But if you look at guys like, like Richard Brand, Saying, and you look at guys like even Steve Jobs, you know, God rest his soul, um, the Gary Vaynerchuks of the world. It's like, what are they busy doing? Like, are they busy doing paperwork? Are they busy returning emails? Like, what do these guys do? They're busy growing the business. That's what they're doing. That's what you should be doing as an owner. But no, you're, you know, you're too busy either doing hair, you're too busy doing inventory, you're too busy entering emails, too busy doing things that you could hire somebody else to do for you for much less than your hourly worth or your hourly rate. And when I say hourly rate, I'm not talking about what you charge per hour behind the chair. I don't believe in charging by the hour. I believe in charging for the result, but we're not going to talk about that. It's like you are an owner of a business. So if you take what your total business does in, in the year, let's say you could do profit $500,000 a year from your business, break it down into like, you know, how many weeks in a year to how many hours in, in a week and how many hours you get paid by the hour, like figure that number out. And if, if it's more than $10 an hour and you're doing $10 an hour tasks, you're wasting your time. There's somebody who could probably do it better and be doing something to push the business forward. So I want you to take an audit of all the things that you do in your day that you could probably hire somebody on Upwork to do for you. And you can then free up your time to do the things that have an impact in your life. And I'm not just talking about in the salon. Like, what are you doing at home? Are you spending four hours doing laundry? Why? Hire somebody. If you're a business owner, act like a business owner. If you own a suite, guess what? You're a business owner. You have important things to do because you have rent due. You have to order color. You have to make sure your clients are being, you know, emailed about their last visit. You have to make sure you're on top of your business game. And then when you get home, especially for the moms out there, you're busy doing mom stuff. Like you got to make sure you do the kids laundry, get their lunches ready. There's so much stuff you need to do, but do you really have to do all of it? Why can't you offload the house cleaning to somebody else? Why can't you offload the laundry to somebody else? Why can't you offload certain things to somebody else? So when you're home, you're present with your family. And then on the flip side of that, for the business stuff, why don't you offload some of the email marketing, some of the text messages, some of the appointment setting for your clients to somebody else? Like if you just focus on doing the hair and then you create the systems in place and the, the, the processes for the things to get done, not by you, but by somebody else, then you have all the free time in the world to focus on your clients, focus on your family, focus on yourself. Like, I bet you, like, you you feel so neglected. That's why you're burnt out. You're sitting here feeling like, when's the last time I even got my nails done? When's the last time I had time to sit alone 
and just collect my thoughts and like really take a look at the success that I've created for myself. You have it because you're in it. Like you're in the day to day and you're doing all the things, but you don't have to do all the things. That's what a business owner does. They delegate. So take a look at your life and audit it. What can you pass off to somebody else? And I promise you, getting something done, at least 80% as good as you doing it, is 100% awesome. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you love this channel, make sure you click subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get alerted every time I upload a new video. If you want to watch the full video, click somewhere on this page, I think right over here, and drop a comment if you have any questions.